Well, the Inyo County Board of Supervisors heard a presentation at Tuesday's Inyo County Board of Supervisors meeting. This for a plan of reintroduction and dedication of Highway 395 to its original name of El Camino Sierra. Now, El Camino Sierra is the name first given to the, well, as David Woodruff puts it, the magical ribbon of blacktop by the Bishop-based Inyo Good Road Club back in the 1910. The name was part of a marketing plan to draw the attention of Sacramento politicians and highway department officials to this lightly populated area of the state. This in order to obtain a share of the first state highway construction bond in order to build new roads in Inyo and Mono counties. Now, Inyo County Chief Administrative Officer Kevin Caruncio has briefed the Inyo County Board of Supervisors on the county's recent efforts to resurrect and promote the name El Camino Sierra. Caruncio told the board that recent that banners had recently been placed at the north and south entrances of Lone Pine, Independence, Big Pine and Bishop, promoting the towns as being in the heart of El Camino Sierra. Caruncio also said that Inyo County was in the process of placing new highway sounds at the county's north and south borders that also proclaimed Inyo County the heart of El Camino Sierra. Caruncio also said that banners and signs, along with a few other measures, were part of a phase one in the county's efforts and sought the board's approval to move forward with phase two. The highlights of this next part of the El Camino Sierra promotional efforts would, ha would be to have interpretive highway markers erected and placed at various historic sites throughout Inyo County. Caruncio explained that the signs would be built in the shape of the historic markers first erected by the Inyo Good Roads Club back in 1910. Caruncio displayed a prototype of the new markers to the board and the audience that was present. Now also during Tuesday's presentation, Inyo County Board of Supervisors heard from local historians Ted Williams, Howard Walker, and yes, David Woodruff about how the name El Camino Sierra came about and the measures taken to promote it, including the 1914 historic and record-setting flight by intrepid aviator Silas Christopherson who set a high altitude record for that time by flying 15,728 feet, over a thousand feet above the summit of Mount Whitney. And the flight was part of the Inyo Good Roads Club attention grabbing efforts. Now, Board of Supervisor Administrative Assistant Darcy Ellis told the board that the county was making the text and logos available to businesses and organizations that wish to join the county in promoting El Camino Sierra designation for Highway 395. Now, if you have a business or would like to be involved in the county's efforts and just learn about it, you can contact Darcy at 760-878-0373. And we will note that David Woodruff and his wife Gail will be having a book signing and promotional event. Going to have some great history coming up this Friday at the Pupfish Cafe at Spellbinder Books starting at 630 for their book, Tales of El Camino Sierra. Well, coming up this Saturday, hey, it might be time to spring into a healthy lifestyle. I mean, maybe not be, but you, uh, by at the uh, second annual Toyabi Health Fair. Hey, everyone's welcome to attend the health fair. Now, this is going to be at Toyabi's great new Bishop location on 250 CV Lane. The event, obviously free, open to the public. That's this Saturday from 9 to noon. They're going to have fun, informative activities, including a passport challenge for adults and arts and crafts for the kids. Toyabi Public Health will be offering health screenings, and again, that's coming up this Saturday at the Toyabi Health, health Fair. You can explore the new facility while discovering healthy lifestyle options for you and your family. Now, we know a lot of folks always look forward every year to the Banff Mountain Film Festival World Tour that is returning to the Eastern Sierra coming up March 31st and April 1st at the Charles Brown Auditorium at the Tri-County Fairgrounds. Tickets available at Eastside Sports, Inyo Council for the Arts and Bishop, as well as the Bookie Joint in Mammoth. I'd like more information on that BAMP Film Festival, we know a lot of folks are uh, really looking forward to, well, seeing some of the coolest films that have been uh, over the last year or so. You can go to Inyo.org or give a call to 760-873-8014. We'll be back with a weather report.